So, Simon, I hope you have your crystal ball ready. Because now we're going to talk about the future or what you believe is the future of e-commerce SEO. Yeah, so I think the future is here, actually. Uh, obviously, crystal ball will be uh, helpful uh, to, to, you know, predict uh, what's going to be happening in like next six months. It's changing so rapidly. Uh, so uh, I think that um, the main changes that we are uh, seeing right now um, in the in, in near future will reshape the whole SEO, especially for e-commerce, is agentic SEO. Agentic SEO, which means that uh, people won't visit uh, websites. They will not visit uh, e-commerce stores. They will just talk with AI and ask about products and then ask AI to actually buy it, right? So with regards to that, if let's say you're using ChatGPT or within um, Gemini, whatever, you're going back and forth. What would you then say with regards to e-commerce SEO? Is any is there any better CMS system? Is like does Shopify work better than WooCommerce? Like, is, have you got any kind of preferences on that? Because I know like ChatGPT's teamed up with or now enables Shopify feeds and stuff. So, have you got a preference from a CMS system? Uh, yeah, we've seen that uh, like a year ago. I think that. Um with some leak or some, someone done the investigation that uh, chat GPT within the code already had some like placeholders for Shopify related uh, terms. So it was just like a, a like a signal, um, like, you know, think that, that, you know, made you thinking, oh, maybe I should switch for Shopify. Uh, so yeah, obviously big, big companies, big uh, engines will, you know, team up with uh, big tech like OpenAI or Google. Um, so I don't know, maybe it's a good direction if you are thinking about switching to another uh, CMS, another um, shopping engine, and you thought about, you know, two different ones and one of them, uh, you know, they are kind of like equal and one of them is affiliated or optimized for uh, AI or Google, whatever. Um, I think it's a reasonable choice, but I don't know. Um, generally, when I was investigating what are the requirements uh, for future agentic SEO for e-commerce, uh, it's more about your API, uh, your endpoints. So uh, if you have something, you know, custom made or open source and you have decent uh, developers, you can be really, you know, flexible with that. So these are, you know, pros and cons for SaaS, right? Uh, like it used to be before. If you have SaaS, uh, you are kind of safe because, uh, you know, the, the um, creators of this platform uh, have taken care about um, some crucial things, you know, so, so, so it's, you know, SEO optimized, let's say. But if you want to really compete in very competitive niche with uh, with other you know um, big with big, big brands big budgets uh, the little things in the optimization uh, can make a difference so then custom made or open source um, engine would be would be also you know having some some um, advantages uh, at this point so we don't know yet right uh, it's it will be about apis about mcps about M endpoints about you know custom feed uh, feed optimization um, json ld structured data maybe some prompt injection kind of stuff we will optimize i don't know yet but uh, the more flexibility you have uh, the more options you have, right? So it depends on safety versus freedom in terms of action, right? Yeah, for sure. So if anyone's got an e-commerce website, and I know we have got this crystal ball out and we don't fully know the, the kind of the future of e-commerce SEO, but if someone's got, if they're, an, they're watching this now, they're an e-commerce website owner. At present, they're not using any freelance or outsourcing it to any freelance e-commerce SEO agency to help them. The, at present, they're 100% reliant on traffic from Google rankings. But now you're saying potentially they're not even going to go through and do the search and do the click from Google. It's just going to be presented via LLMs. What can they try to do to future-proof themselves? Should they be looking to get like a freelance kind of outsourcing, getting like an S and like a semantic SEO expert, an e-commerce expert, but, but mainly they need to be understanding how to rank 
almost being like a geo expert instead of being an SEO expert to try to make certain they're getting in these LLMs. What would you kind of do for them to future proof themselves? What should, what's their next steps they should be doing? Um, I would say that if you asked me the same question like two years ago, I would also advise, you know, find SEO uh, freelancer or, or agency, find a developer that will help you, you know, customize your uh, website, um, customize for, you know, anything that is actually recently uh, making the difference, right? So now the landscape is changing and we need to optimize for new things. Uh, call it GEO, uh, call it whatever, but you know, this is, this is the future that's actually happening right now. So uh, finding people who are kind of, you know, um, researching stuff, um, investigating what, what is going on, uh, it's a wise choice, you know, reasonable stuff. It's really hard to find uh, at the moment uh, people with big portfolio and, you know, um, pr pr prove that they are experts in GEO, right? Because we are all learning that stuff. But if someone's, uh, someone's having like a good uh, proven track of uh, SEO services, they are um, investigating, researching, uh, testing all the new AI angles and they have like case studies uh, or, or you know, examples to discuss uh, within your industry, with your shopping platform, whatever, uh, it's reasonable to you know, partner with them, right? Uh, because uh, these are people who will um, find their way through this all new agentic SEO, uh, and it's it's your goal to you know team team with this kind of people. So uh, yeah, I I think that is very very important right now to to research to find uh, an agency or freelancer or hire somebody uh, who will take care of uh, of all this stuff because uh, you know it's your main future traffic and sales source potentially. So focus on that, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, with regards to the future of e-commerce SEO, you're mentioning like agents, you're mentioning um, custom J uh, Jason LDs. A lot of these um, like website owners, they understand content and they understand links, but no more important than ever are the feeds that's being done and the JSON that's being done. So what? how can someone, someone's watching this now and saying, wow, Zimon is the man. I want to kind of hire you for e-commerce SEO, whether that's being a consultant, whether it's full on getting you on board as being um, an agency to kind of look and do a full audit for them to try to get into them LLMs. How can someone contact you? Uh, you can you can find me uh, via social media like LinkedIn. Uh, it's hard to, uh, to, to remember my name, but it's S-Z-Y-M-O-N-S-L-O-W-I-K. So uh, the best way would be, you know, typing my name in, uh, in the search. It will, you know, stimulate my branch traffic and, and my rankings probably. Uh, but yeah, we can we can drop a link uh, under the the, um, uh, the video. So so yeah, my social media or my personal website or Taka Auto, my agency website is uh, all of those uh, touch points. Let's say are are okay, and we can we can discuss the future of uh, e-commerce for, for them. Yeah, so if anyone's got an e-commerce website and they're looking to try and improve rankings within the LLMs trying to future-proof what where it, traffic now seems to be going. Obviously, then being able to run those audits, make certain you reach out. Um, obviously, we I've seen some of the results. Was, we were together in Kusadesa uh, for well over a week. It felt like a boot camp with regards to semantic SEO kind of talks all week and stuff like that. But I've seen the Google search consoles. I've seen the results of what you've been doing for a lot of e-commerce clients. So if anyone is struggling or if anyone wants to future-proof their e-commerce SEO, make certain you reach out. There'll be a link in the description through to his social media as well, as well as a, his agency website. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, James. Cheers.